if someone threatens to share your intimate images online, or maybe you have a feeling this person has it, they, they've taken it down, but they could threaten again and put it up somewhere else and I don't want it. There's actually something you can do about it and it's prevention. And a lot of work has been done in this area and NCII, and the website is stopncii.org. Claire, can you talk to us a little bit more about this organisation and how they can support people who find themselves in this situation? Absolutely, Avril. Um, so the NCII is actually an international charity um, and they support victims of non-consensual intimate image abuse. Um, they have created a tool which works by generating a hash from your intimate image or your video. So think of it as a, as a, a like a digital fingerprint. Um, and that's the only file that is shared with the NCII. So that means they're not they're not taking your image or your video or they're or they're not looking at it. They don't download it from your device. Um, and they really collect minimal data to run the service to help protect your privacy. So what they do once they've created the hash is that they they then share it with other supporting companies to help detect and remove the images or the videos from being shared online. Um, so really, uh, what, what I suppose I want to be clear around is that when you send this through, uh, you, it's a code that's created. There's no, you're not sending your image. They're not looking at your image or the video. They can't see it, Claire. No, no. It they can't even see the image or the video. They just flag it as a number, a, a yes. list of serial numbers. Yes. And therefore, you're not actually sharing it and they can't see it. Yes, exactly. Um, and then they share it with the other supporting companies who help to detect it and remove it uh, from being shared online. And they, they have a 90% a removal rate, which is excellent. And they're ultimately supporting your right to privacy. Yes. Absolutely. And that's what they strongly believe in, which is why they exist as an international charity. That should give comfort. It's just a code, a print that's put on it. And that's what's used to make sure it's not shared anywhere else. OK. So what we're going to do now is show you how to report it to them, okay, step by step. So this is the website, stopncii.org, create your case. Step one, so what's your age? So I'm over 18, who's in the image? You decide, myself. Help us understand what the image is about. So sexual act, semi-nude, private place. And it has it been shared online? Yes, or maybe no, or you don't know. Um, and then to learn more about reporting. So this is really useful, right? For people under 18 years of age to help remove images. And then also all the different platforms. How do I report? This is an excellent piece of resource. So I went in there, for example, onto Instagram and look, reporting on Instagram and it brings you to the safety center. WhatsApp, the help center, blocking and reporting contacts and reporting someone. So all the support, the links that you need to get to directly. YouTube. So I've just gone back there now again, but just to know that that is a really useful support as well. Okay, so step two, select the photos. So I'm putting in that image again with the stop banner across her face. I'm loading that in. So you upload your videos or your images, you put it in there. But what they're doing, you now create a pin. It's your own pin. You have to remember this. If you forget this pin, you won't get you won't be able to check to see what they've done. And you don't have to give your email address. And you can see here, so step four. I am the person in the images. I was over 18 when the image was taken. I understand that if I lose my case number, right? So that's that digital thing, the fingerprint, remember, that Claire was explaining, I will not be able to check to check my case status. There's no help if you lose them. So these are really important, right? So you can see the hash up there. That's the code. And um, then underneath it says, I understand that by creating a case, that I consent to my hashes being shared with participating companies. And these companies are helping to protect your privacy by making sure it doesn't get uploaded, it doesn't get found, it doesn't get visible, it doesn't, it's not seen anywhere online. So I'm going to click I understand. 
and then I'm not a robot and submit. 